This is Epic Man, along with Doc Severinsen and the NBC Orchestra, inviting you to join Johnny and his guests, Charles Nelson Riley, Bo Derrick, Pete Powder, author Mickey Ziffrin, and from the San Diego Zoo, Joan Embry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny! Well, I'm checking out a spot, folks, that I was at last year. I found one of those JNO Wyeth and Brothers uh, bottles and it's quite old around the turn of the century and also one of those log cabin syrup bottles the Indian had on it and I came upon this rock property line so I thought I'd get brave and head straight towards this house here but unfortunately I don't see any glass debris so far so I'm gonna head back that way and uh, get back to the spot that I was intending to go to and I'll see you there over and out well hello there so I'm on site here now and I'm on one of these uh, rock property lines and if you're familiar with my videos you know I often search these things and as you can see there's lots of trash and debris along this one and it's just a matter of finding an old section and sometimes the old stuff is buried underneath this newer stuff for example here's a big old five gallon crock but it's broken half see so no telling what you might find in amongst this stuff there's a mason lid there and it actually has some embossing on it, made in Canada, I think it says. I don't think it's real old, but oh. anyways, there's that as well. So no telling what you might find along these rock property lines. I'm gonna keep looking around. I'll get you back up if I find anything. Well, still on this property line here, folks. And I think I got somewhat of an older section. It's probably like from the 1930s. Got a couple bottles up in here. Probably from the 30s or 40s. Look at this one here. It's a Vix Vatronol. It's an amber one. Still got the squeezer and dropper in it. And there's one of those. Typical of like a 40s style lid. Screw top. We got something right down in here. Looks like a Henry K. Wampole. Yep. Nice amber one and it is full of liquid. Check it out. Edge embossed, Henry K. Wampole. Find lots of blue ones, but uh, don't find many amber ones, so that's pretty cool. I'll probably keep that. It's a lot older than this thing here, which is a big uh, syrup bottle by the looks of it. Anyways, I'm going to get down into these rocks here, and uh, if I find anything else old, I'll get you back up on. Baby food jar, maybe? Yeah. Okay, folks, as I suspected, this goes way down underneath all these rocks. It's almost as if stuff has been dumped here and then the rocks put in on top of them. Here's a couple of cobalt blues. I don't even think you can see them the way the light's shining. There's a nice glass one there. It's even got the lids partially still intact on it. There's another weird shaped one. Wow, that's got uh, some sort of label on it. Pretty sure it's a Vicks, yeah. Vicks Vapo Rub. So there's a couple of those. Oh, there's a Serto bottle. It's a uh, screw top, though. Well, like I said, this stuff goes way down underneath these rocks. There's something there. There's another, like, a 40s style medicine bottle there's an amber one yeah okay so no telling what could be in here it could be some late throwaways as well i pulled this way out from uh, way down underneath there it's a leather strap of some sort maybe part of a horse tack or something got the buckle still on it some brass pieces so that's kind of cool anyways i'm gonna move some of these rocks and uh, see what's underneath them well, still here, folks. I'm digging this place up. 
Well, I just moved over on the other side of this rock here, and I see something right down here. Check it out. I can see it's embossed, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Looks to me like it's an embalming fluid bottle. You believe that? Sticking right out of the ground right there. Right in amongst all this, like, 1950 stuff. It is. Check it out. See if we can get that embossing on there. You see that? The Champion Company of Canada Limited. Leaside, Toronto, Canada. Graduated measurements all up that backside there. Oh, geez, don't want to break that. Dominion glass mark on the base, probably from the 30s. Sweet. Nice find. Beauty of a find. Well, folks, I'm doing pretty good. I'm picking up these old Bakelite lids. That's a three or four of them I got there now. Check this one here out. Amber bottle. It's got the original lid on it. I'm assuming it's the original lid. And it's a Buckley's. Bottle's not embossed, though. Probably from the 40s. This one here is kind of interesting. Got some green liquid in it. Check that out. I wonder what in the world that would be. Wow. Pretty cool looking. Graduated med. Or uh, some sort of chemical. Not necessarily a medicine, but there it is. Cool. Alright, let's keep scraping away. I still can't get over that uh, embalming fluid bottle up in here. That's pretty odd. I don't know what that would be doing up at the back of this farmer's field, but... It was here. Okay, folks, me again. Here's something here. It's not real, not as old as what we're looking for, but uh, it's pretty neat. It's definitely what you'd call vintage. Maybe from the 60s. Rexall zinc ointment tin. And it's in pretty much perfect condition. I just tried to find one online to get a date on it, but I couldn't, couldn't find one with a date, but... Uh, that's in pretty good condition. I think I might keep that. Probably not worth much right now. But uh, maybe in the future it might be uh, something somebody might want. Kind of cool nonetheless. I think I'll hang on to it. Alright, keep scraping around. Well, it's raining a bit here at the moment, folks. And it's nearly dark. But here's this tin cleaned up. Zinc oxide ointment. Cleaned up really well. I'm impressed with it. Zinc oxide was used for uh, skin abrasions or skin irritants like burns and scratches, that sort of thing. Also in uh, sunscreen and, you know, for uh, diaper rash as well. They say that it doesn't expire, I guess, but uh, I don't think I'll be using it. And inside we still have some of the ointment. So... Nice little tin. They go for about five to ten bucks on on eBay. Is what people are asking for them. All right, let's get back on site. I'm still in the same general area here, folks, but I'm just uh, exploring around further up into the woods here. I followed a rock property line up that way and cut way up this way and there was a road up that way an old road i started following seen some rocks here a pile of rocks I come down notice this old uh, wash basin there scraped around a bit another galvanized bucket there didn't find anything of uh, really of interest here nothing old enough so i'm gonna keep looking around through the woods here if i find anything else i'll get back up on all right, I'm back at the original uh, dump spot here now, and as I suspected, I got digging around in this mound here, and it definitely looks like uh, stuff has been uh, plowed over here. 
I got digging down in and I mean there's literally there's a galvanized bucket down underneath all this stuff all this uh, ground and dirt and sod and it's almost in perfect condition um, pulled a D buckle out of there that galvanized bucket bucket there was under there almost perfect condition here's an insulator here nice porcelain one brown color it's in pretty good condition got a couple chips up around there and uh, what else do I see here oh yeah this little check it out a little uh, rubber truck or van of some sort kind of cool all right so anyways I'm gonna try digging around here I haven't got much time left here uh, so might not have uh, too much more to show anyways we'll uh, see you on the see you on the next clip all right I think I got another decent fine folks I can see it right there it's an ACL soda bottle a local one old homestead is it complete and what sort of condition is the ACL in well it's in pretty good condition these uh, usually hold up pretty good nice nice big quart bottle I'll keep that for sure so that's a few decent finds out of here so far even though uh, the majority of the stuff isn't uh, real old hasn't got much age to it but uh, there's some decent stuff in here just the same all right later well I'm getting out of here for today folks I don't think I'm gonna do a uh, clean up slash wrap up but uh, I'm gonna show what I got here real quickly I've got the Henry K wham pole edge embossed script writing the best find of the day the uh, embalming fluid bottle a couple a uh, few cobalt blue ones there this Rexall ointment tin pretty cool this bottle here with the green fluid and I think I might keep that actually and just keep the fluid right in it that's pretty cool looking but anyways that's about it really there's an amber one there kind of a neat shape I got some lids put in that but anyways that's gonna be it uh, if I don't see you on a cleanup, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Good day, viewers. Thanks for joining me here for the recap portion of uh, the video. I got some nice vintage finds out of uh, this one. Now, the first time, well, I guess, yes, yeah, the first time and when I first located this site was last year. And I thought I'd start this recap off by showing one of the bottles I found when I first found the site, which is this bottle right here. It's got the Indian's head on it there. Check it out. And it is the log cabin syrup bottle. And the other bottle I found there was a John Wyeth and Brothers malt extract bottle which dates back around the turn of the century 1900 or so which is much earlier than this other stuff and it came as a surprise when i found it <laughs> but anyways i thought i'd show that and also this i think this is the best find today in this dig which is the champion company of canada limited leaside toronto canada it is the embalming fluid bottle and what was that doing at the back of that farmer's field i have no idea this appears to be sickness on this bottle but you can see where i've been scraping at it right here you can see those lines and also there as i was scraping at it with this coat hanger and some of that is coming off, but I'll tell you, and you can he hear how rough it is. So it's like it's on top of the glass in there. But uh, you'd be forever scraping that off like that. I tried a couple chemicals on it, and nothing seemed to budge it. But anyways, I'll keep the bottle. It's a nice bottle, and I think it's the best bottle of the bunch that I found today. Well, in this video.
Next up, we got the big old old homestead soda bottle. This is a quart bottle, and it's a local one. It's got the local town name, St. Stephen, New Brunswick, on it. And these generally go for about ten bucks in the antique stores when they're in, you know, really good condition. This one's got some of the lettering missing off the back of it, but I think it's definitely a solid five dollar bottle, still just the same. And speaking of that, I think I could probably, I think I could probably get twenty bucks for the finds out of today's dig, excluding this one, just the ones I got in this video. Here's a Henry K. Wample and Company bottle, amber one. I'll get a buck or two for that one. The blue ones, of course, are more popular. People like the blue ones. Here's this medicine bottle with the green liquid in it. Check it out. That's like a Jekyll and Jekyll and Hyde syrup. <laughs> no telling what that is. It's a uh, three and a half ounces of a uh, Jekyll and Hyde chemical. <laughs> Still got the original lid on it. I was gonna break that off and put a plastic one on, but I don't know. What do you think? Should I leave that metal one on there, or take it off and put a new one on? I don't know. It's not leaking, so that's a good thing. Next up, we got this weird little amber bottle. I put that lid on it, and uh, it's looking like it's from 1942, possibly. Possibly. Okay. Three cobalt blues. They're uh, pretty good size ones. Probably a couple bucks a piece. We got this amber dropper. The lid broke on it. Can we get focused on that? <laughs> Where's my cameraman? <laughs> I made a joke on another on an, somebody else's video. I said I interviewed a tree brancher as a new cameraman last week. But uh, anyways, you don't see many of these uh, brown dropper bottles like that and finally folks is this zinc oxide ointment tin and I think that cleaned up really well I showed a little clip of that in the digging portion if, if you watch that not sure what the date is on it almost looks like there might be a date on here but I can't make it out but anyways this was used for uh, skin irritants like uh, burns and cuts and uh, diaper rash and it's also used in uh, in uh, sunscreen uh, zinc oxide is and there's a little bit of the ointment left in it check it out tins in really good condition and, uh, they go uh, for about five to ten bucks online is what people are asking for them. So I think that's a pretty good find. All right, well that's it for today, folks. Hopefully we'll get into some older stuff in the next video. So thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Don't forget to give a thumbs up too. Over and out, folks. <laughs>